This is a brief student tutorial to show you what to do with tasks that have attachments on them. Here's an example of a student task from DT that has multiple attachments, documents and PowerPoints. If you were opening this on a PC, it would be very straightforward and you could just hover over the attachment, right click and choose save as. But on an iPad, there's an extra stage. Let's have a look at what happens to a Word document. It opens as part of the browser. In order to work with this on Word, you have to select the little square with the arrow pointing out of it towards the top right hand corner of your screen. This gives you a choice of apps to try and use to open the document. You need to choose the app that suits the item best. So this is a Word document. We're going to open it in Word. When the document first opens in Word, you'll notice it says read only. You can't save changes to this file. Do you want to save a copy? So click on save a copy and it will ask you where you want to save it. Save that on your read OneDrive. OK, we're going to go back to the task and have a look at what happens when we open a PowerPoint. Again, a similar thing will happen. This is now opened as part of the browser. And if you need to interact with this more, you have to download it. So we find the square with the arrow sticking out of the top on the top right hand corner of the screen. And we look for PowerPoint. Now you'll notice this iPad doesn't have PowerPoint pre-installed. If it did, it would come up here or perhaps under more as one of the apps that can be used. So you've got two options now. You can either leave this screen and download the app onto your iPad, but if you're using a school iPad, you should find that all the apps you need have already been deployed to your iPad.